Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com, and today Absinthe has been released for your Apple devices running 5.1.1. Now you'll be able to run a jailbreak untethered to your new iPad 3s, uh, iPhone 4, 4S, anything that runs 5.1.1 except for the iPad 2, which is a new version of the iPad 2 that runs uh, a different type of chip. Uh, a different type of A5 chip so if you have that version uh, you gotta probably wait a little bit until they release uh, an update so you can jailbreak that so what you have to do first is go to iTunes and update to version 5.1.1 and go ahead and while you're there back up everything so that you don't delete anything you don't want to have deleted by accident Alright, so now that you've updated your Apple device to version 5.1.1 and you've backed it up using iTunes, you can now open up Absinthe version uh, 2.0. Now it's 2.0.1. And you connect your Apple device and you'll see down here that it will detect it. So it says iPhone 4, uh, iOS 5.1.1 detected. Click the button to begin. If you have a uh, lo locked Apple device, say you have a lock on it, it's going to require you to unlock your Apple device. So just go ahead and unlock it and then connect it. But once you see that it's detected and it's telling you what kind of device is connected, all you have to do is just hit jailbreak and it'll do its thing. You don't have to hold the home button and the power button. It's just going to do its thing and before you know it you will have a jailbroken Apple device. I did my iPad 3 a little while ago, same process and it rebooted I think two or three times and after that I had Cydia right on my iPad 3. Also some people are complaining that it's taking way entirely too long and that the main reason is because there's just a whole bunch of people just slamming the servers so you could either do one of two things, either wait it out a couple of days until you know the, the, the big rush kind of slows down, or you could wait. But let us know how long it takes for you to jailbreak your Apple device. Again, I, it took me about five minutes this morning. This, this was probably like around six o'clock in the morning to jailbreak my iPad 3. And right now, this jailbreak for the iPhone 4, it took probably about 45 minutes. So there you go, that's basically how you jailbreak your Apple device running iOS 5.1.1. I hope you enjoyed this really easy um, jailbreak. It's, it's so simple, just like the dev team said, your grandma could do it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up down below. If you have any concerns, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them also down below. And I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Don't forget to visit informalgadget.com and make sure to subscribe to my channel.